My name is Jason from So The Land and today I'm gonna talk to you guys how I quit sugar and at the end of this video I will share with you guys a simple real food recipe that helped me kick that sugar habit and start eating real food. 10 years ago I was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer. That's when we started to really look at nutrition. Started to look at our diet, started to look at my diet on to how can we eat healthier, how can we feel healthier, how can we be healthier. After I was chemo, remission, been in remission now 10 years. One thing that we learned when I was going through cancer is that cancer thrives on sugar. Now I know we need, we do need a certain amount of sugar in our diet, but I think there is a healthy sugar and a not healthy sugar. Now the sugar that I'm talking about is refined sugar. I'm talking about the white stuff. Which is highly processed sugar. A lot of food out there has refined sugar. I'm gonna say everything has refined sugar. <laughs> it's a lot. Some examples of that is ketchup, barbecue sauce, cereals in a box, uh, you know, soda, sports drinks, certain flavored coffees. After I was already in remission, that I started to have symptoms that my cancer was gonna come back. I was almost certain that cancer was back and then after doing tests, after tests, and it wasn't cancer, it, it was fine. That second scare, what pushed us pushing further, going further into eating healthier and being healthier. I stopped eating refined sugar about, just about five years, five, six years ago. When I first decided, okay, I'm gonna stop eating sugar, reading every single label in the grocery store, if it said sugar on it, I would not have it. Now the sugar that I'm not talking about, and which I consider healthy sugar, is the natural sugar. Natural sugars such as fruit, such as apple, banana, oranges, also sugar like maple syrup, and also honey. I'm not talking about sugar that is occurring naturally. There was no secret formula to the way I quit sugar. When you're trying to quit refined sugar, you realize how addicting it really is. How your body is addicted to it. You don't realize that until you're actually trying to get rid of that. So the way I quit is just, I just quit cold turkey. It's just one day I said, okay, I'm not going to have any refined sugar. I'm gonna look at all the labels at the grocery store. I'm gonna look at every can canned good, every box cereal that I want to eat. And if it says sugar on it, I'm not eating it. I think the hard part for me was when we were, when we're going to uh, other family's house, when we're going out to eat. I was used to eating a certain way my entire life. Every time you go to family's houses, you're used to eating these things, uh, especially around the holidays. But what, what helped is, um, Lorraine, you know, we're a team. She was a little bit more relaxed about um, eating sugar at first than I was. And so I think it, it helps to have that support system. Everyone needs to be on board and, and supporting uh, my decision on to not eat sugar. And if that means, sorry grandma, I can't eat those wonderful treats that you just made, that you make me every single year, I can't have them anymore. <laughs> That's hard, that's hard to do. And grandma, I know you're watching, I love you. It had to be done, I had to, I had to do it. I, this is my health, you know, this is my life that I was trying to make better. Now I think if you're looking to quit sugar or even uh, eat less sugar, refined sugar, I'm only telling you this from my experience. For one, it's important to get a good support system around you. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard to break that sugar habit. You could take baby steps. For me, I just quit cold turkey, done. And also look for alternative ways to have sugar, such as maple syrup. As I was quitting sugar, stopping eating sugar, my body started to change. My, my cravings for sweets and sugary things started to disappear. After eating natural sugars, that's sweet to me, but if I have that cookie that has refined sugar, that is really sweet to me. Like that is, it's too sweet. For example, we went to a bakery, they had these gluten-free cookies, and this was like a giant cookie. And I was like, okay, this cookie looks really good. <laughs> it's gluten-free. I ate the cookie, 
Because <laughs> it looked good, to be honest. Come on, I'm not perfect. After I eat that cookie, I felt sick. I mean, I felt like jittery, and it's like I couldn't handle it. I could not handle the sugar that was in it. Like I changed the way my taste buds are, I changed the way how my body eats these kinds of foods. And so if you're looking to cut out sugar, it will get better. <laughs> and some of these alternative natural sugars is real food. When I was trying to get rid of refined sugar in my diet, I'm gonna show you my go-to special treat that I would make for myself. We have bananas, honey, almond butter, and coconut flakes. This was my go-to special treat for myself. Whenever I would start craving sugar, like I really crave sweets, this is real food right here. I highly recommend this. Even if you're not trying to cut out sugar, this is a really good treat. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys, how I quit eating refined sugar. This is something that's uh, very important to us, um, our health and I'm just sharing with you my experience with that. For me, after going through cancer, going through a second cancer scare, that's my motivation. I'm trying to be as healthy as possible for myself and for my family. And for me, it became all in, all or nothing. I'm not just gonna do it during the week and then on the weekends, I'm gonna have a cheat day. None of that. It was all in, 100%. Let's eat healthy, let's be healthy, let's keep at it and feel healthy in our mind and body. But I hope this can help you in some way. Um, I'm happy to share uh, my experience, our story with everyone. And I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys next time.